Can you name the problem that is undermining the well-being of more than 3 billion people? Driving species extinctions, intensifying climate change, and contributing to mass human migration and increased conflict? The problem is land degradation. Land degradation, through the loss of biodiversity and ecosystem services, cost about 10% of the world's annual gross product in 2010. By 2014, less than 25% of the Earth's land surface was free from substantial impacts of human activity. It is estimated that by 2050, this will be less than 10%. Wetlands have been particularly degraded, with 87% lost globally in the last 300 years. Unless we reduce and reverse land degradation, it is projected that by 2050, over half of the pre-modern abundance of wild creatures will be lost. Up to 700 million of the 4 billion people living in dry lands will be forced to migrate, and crop yields will reduce by an average of 10% and by up to 50% in some regions. Addressing land degradation is therefore critical to meet key international development objectives, including the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, the Sustainable Development Goals, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. These are just some of the findings of the world's first comprehensive evidence-based assessment report on land degradation and restoration. Produced by the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, the report is the result of three years of work by 160 leading experts from all regions of the world. It draws on over 3,000 sources and provides the best available evidence to make better informed decisions. What drives land degradation? A key driver is the rapid expansion and unsustainable management of land used for crops, grazing, production forests, human settlement, infrastructure, mining and industry. This threatens food security, water purification, the provision of energy and other essential contributions of nature to people. Underlying drivers include high consumption lifestyles, rising consumption and continued population growth. These factors often lead to unsustainable agricultural expansion, the over-extraction of natural resources and minerals, and accelerating demand for land-hungry products. Land degradation is a major contributor to climate change. Between 2000 and 2009, it was responsible for annual global emissions of up to 4.4 billion tons of CO2, with deforestation alone contributing about 10% of all human-induced greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change also impacts land degradation, with extreme weather events causing accelerated soil erosion, increased risks of forest fires, invasive species, pests, and diseases. Addressing land degradation could provide more than a third of the most cost-effective greenhouse gas mitigation activities needed by 2030 to keep global warming under the 2 degrees centigrade threshold targeted in the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The two-way links between climate change and land degradation mean that these issues should be addressed together and with similar levels of urgency. The greatest value of the IPBES report is the evidence and policy options that it presents. We can all make better choices for more effective action on land degradation and restoration. The report provides examples of effective land restoration in a wide range of ecosystems. These include reducing soil loss and improving soil health using salt-tolerant crops and initiating conservation systems improving local livestock management practices and institutions and maintaining appropriate fire regimes, controlling pollution sources, reflooding wetlands damaged by draining, and restoring the processes which keep wetlands healthy, spatial planning, replanting native species, developing green infrastructure, improving wastewater treatment, 
and restoring river channels. Other steps to support restoration include improving monitoring, verification systems, and baseline data, coordinating policy between different ministries in order to integrate agricultural, forestry, energy, water, infrastructure, and service agendas, and incentives that reward sustainable land management. The report has already made an impact on global decision-making, having been taken up in the formal processes of, among others, the Convention on Biological Diversity and the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. Urgent action must be taken to halt, reduce and reverse land degradation. The longer we delay, the more costly and difficult restoration becomes. The cost of inaction is at least three times higher than the cost of action, and on average, the benefits of land restoration are many times more valuable than the costs. The IPBES report shows that targeted actions to combat land degradation can transform the lives of millions. IPBES, science and policy for people and nature.